All right, so like I said, we are going to be trying out this uh, blue Vanfar, a uh, blue Abzan deck. Um, so the lands here, I've got mainly just the, a slew of uh, just different ways for us to make sure we can get our color really well. Um, so I've got four Verdants and four Windswept because those can be covering our main colors. Uh, we've got two Temples. A swap, a plains, an overgrown, two canopies for a little bit of extra draw, a hollow fountain, a guideless shrine, two gavinies, two forests, and a breeding pool. Um, in our one drops, we've got three birds and four nobles. We've also got, also got one Viserys here, because with the Viserys here, the um, Vizier and the Thinks, we can have infinite mana or, uh, I mean, uh, infinite life, or with Murder's Red Cap, infinite damage. If we've got Vizier and Devoted, we've got infinite mana, um, and that's got the ability to pump up our entire board with Shalai. Uh, the image, uh, oozes, and voice were just great value and great interaction combo com, com, uh, combining with them. And then uh, three Eldritch, one Eternal Witness, a Spike Feeder. Um, oh, I need... There's one card missing here. Because um, we got the Spike Feeder in here, I need to get the Angel. So let me snag that real quick. ourselves an Archangel of Thune. And we'll cut the uh, we'll cut the streak ball for that. Just need to snag that. So while we're waiting for that, um, it, we'll have the spike feeder combo in here. We've got three thanks and an Ewet, um, three Restos, a Shalai, a Ravenous Chupacabra, a Murderous Redcap, the four Vanifars, a uh, Revlark, and then the Archangel, and then we'll have two Court of Callings. Um, in the side, uh, four Paths, a Kataki, an Eidolon, two more Oozes, a Tracker, a Thrun, and then we've got some Artifact and a Chamahate with the Quasali and two Knight of Autumns. Um, we've also got another Finx and then the Siege Rhino. Should have updated the stream decker there for you guys. Get this angel in here. All right, let's run this into a league. going all right 
right, so not too much going on here. Um, but I think we're going to keep this because this is, uh, this has the ability just to get some, uh, get some value going with the voices and copying it. So we'll try this out. And we'll just run out of Holophon and pass it over. Affinity. Here and we'll pass it back. Copy our voice here, or copy their vault scourge to have a blocker in the air. I don't think the block in the air is really going to matter too much. Uh, then again, Phan uh, Phantasmal itself isn't going to be co doing much copying the voice here. The only thing it's really going to be doing is blocking the arc bound. They could put us on a two turn clock. So yeah, let's just hold back the Phantasmal image in case they want to sack everything onto like Ink Moth. We can copy. Um, the vault scourge for an additional blocker. I think that's lethal. It's to sack everything to it. Oh no, they just didn't want to risk it. Okay. here. I want to bring in the Knight of Autumns and the Quisales. We don't need the oozes. And we can trim the Finks and the Voices. Cutting one more card. I like a lot of what else of what we have going on. Hmm. Yeah, I kept a heavy-handed, uh, uh, heavy amount of hands, uh, lands to begin with, though, so I can only blame myself. I think I'll cut the other things. <sighs> I really want to keep one things. We could cut the Spike Fiend or Archangel combo, but... Oh, we also got to bring in the Kotaki. Sorry. It's kind of important. Yeah, why don't we cut the Spike Feeder combo here, and we'll bring all of this in. All right, no lands means we are shipping that. Got a one lander here into a Night of Autumn, so it's not bad. We'll keep that. That puts us in a predicament. If we want to make... I think we are going to just not crack this because I want to hit that second land drop as a guarantee. And the next turn we can run out Bird and Noble. Um, and we'll crack this for an Overgrown Tomb. 
because I want to have the black mana for the chupacabra. And we'll pass it over. Steal Overseer, okay. We are gonna take care of that with our Chupacabra. That's a Blood Moon, okay. Now we can deal with that with our Knight of Autumn, but there's just no real need for that right now. So why don't we just go ahead and swing in for three with Chupacabra. And then we can always drop a Resto here, depending on what they're going to do. Okay. And we'll just get them right now with our Resto. Hit him here pretty hard. And then we will drop a Rebel Arc out. And just pass it over. I think it's kind of old for them to run Blood Moon. I don't see too many lists are doing that anymore, do they? Pressure. We can still run out this noble. Don't need to waste our Knight of Autumns and images. Cool. Sweet. And we'll run it back. some mana acceleration here and a little bit of interaction so I think we're good to keep this yeah I definitely think they were cutting the blood moons um no I am not playing tomorrow I have a uh, a work party thing that I gotta go buy stuff for and prepare for so I'm handling all the cooking uh, um, tomorrow night for them so Okay, they're running out the Blood Moon. We were wrong, they definitely kept those. Okay. Um, run out the Devoted Druid, we get hit, and then we go Murderous Red Cap next turn. Seems good. Who am I to judge on what they want to do? <laughs> well, we're going to definitely red cap them here. And uh, take out their Vault Scourge. I'm just going to pass. Okay. Um, let's go green, green. Actually, sorry. Swing first. And now we're gonna go green, green. That will evolution away this red cap. Take out their signal pass. Um. I think we just grab Prime Speaker here 
and then we're just going to proceed to outvalue them the rest of this game. So this should be over for them. Mm -mm -mm. I think we go with that. Untap it. Tap that for that. We're gonna sack away the noble here. Go get our vizier. I believe we get some infinite mana going. All right, that's plenty. Do it for five. Go get ourselves a Shalai. And one. Cool. Got game one, folks. Got game one. I'm pretty sure our opponent pretty much beat themselves, though, because the Blood Moon did not have as much of impact as they wanted. But that was pretty sweet. This hand's not bad. I've got a turn three Vanifar here, so we'll keep this. Go over and pass it over. Cinder Glade. Alrighty. Let's grab a temple. Found our breeding pool. We've got plenty of white. I wouldn't mind the extra green. Shock ourselves. Run out the prime speaker. We'll pass it over. Next turn, we can run out the Shalai. And then our opponent should be in a pretty bad spot. Having to deal with the Shalai. Tell me that was a whiffed explorer. No. <laughs> yeah, they don't have another spell though. All right, so they got prime time, or they got. Hmm. No, you can't. Uh, can't infinite combo here. Unless we draw a one drop. Nope, oh, bolt. How rude. Okay. So, we can go get our three drops, which is just going to be Ewit, Finks, Spike Feeder. Or we can run off the Shalai. Running off the Shalai doesn't seem terrible. If it lives, we could... Hmm. I think Shalai seems like the best option here because otherwise there's just a chance that we'll die. Let's just swing at them.
definitely could have used the devoted to kill the virus. Cuts, play a mountain. Hmm. Spike feeder. And a voice. I think we're going to run out the spike feeder. Gain two life, sack it, get the chupacabra, and kill their prime time. Goes our Vanifar. Oh, they have an anger or a soul tank sons here? Yeah. Alright, I think we're going to run out our devoted and run out our voice. And we'll pass it over. Sure, sure. We got escape shifts on top of their deck. Means we're gonna have to deal with them now. Otherwise, we are dying. Fetch up a black source here. Evolution. We could evolution for Ewit. Get back now. That won't do anything because they can just wooded foothills and hit the Shalai. I was gonna think. I was thinking we could go um, Eldritch evolution, use it, uh, get back Ewit, Ewit, target Shalai, cast Shalai. What are our other options? Spike feeders in the graveyard already, so we can't do the Archangel combo. <laughs> well, I guess no. That is the best play because they'll have to, they'll have to uh, sack their wooded foothills. No, they will just do it on their turn. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's still our best option, even though it doesn't do anything. This 
So we could have gone for infinite mana, but we didn't have anything to do with it. Using image on their courser doesn't do anything for us either. So, yeah. yeah. We'll e wet here. July. Should be dead here. Yeah, all right. So you bring in the life gain here if we wanted to. Um, Eidolon has a small bit of value, slowing down their ability to like ramp into ramp or go summers packed into it. Um, other than that, we don't have too much for this matchup. We can bring in the paths for their titans, but I don't really feel like that's where we want to be because uh, that's not going to do too much for us. The voices don't really do too much, um, so I'd rather bring in the knight of up there. Oozes don't do anything either. And so just in case, we want to do some uh, enchantment hate, but let's run it this way. We'll really just have to try to get to the... We can get one of the infinite life combos, we can get them and try to value them that way. This hand doesn't do too much and no ramp, so we cannot keep that. All right, this is a similar situation here. Um, but I guess we'll keep this one. We're going to bottom that. Run this out there. Sack this. We'll grab a uh, godless shrine. Shock ourselves and run up this Viserys here. Sure. 
There's like a part of me that wants to sack this Viserys here to uh, see if we can get blue mana with this cry assisting, but uh, I know that's not correct. Uh, if it's... We're not this devoted. Very, uh, very good chance we're just dead here. Landscape shift. Land Titan. No land, just Titan. See if they want to kill our creatures or not. Targeting devoted, targeting Vasira. Okay. Well, we're gonna sack our devoted. Windswept. Hmm. I guess we'll keep that on top because it gives us the blue. And I'm just going to sack this for the satisfaction that they do not get to kill it. So, like, if we run out our Rebel Arc here, I think we're still just dead. Because they'll just send the damage at us. Or they can shoot down the Revelar and hit us. Things things are not going good this game, folks. Not going good. This is over here. They're gonna tighten in, swing with stuff. On to match three. Yeah, that's pretty solid. We'll keep this. Good man, how are you? Thanks for joining.
don't we grab? We have the ability to grab one more fetch lane. Um, why don't we grab a godless shrine here? No, I'd really rather grab the breeding pool. And then with our windswept. No, I want to be able to go black here. Um, so if we grab godless shrine, uh, it'll open us up a little bit more on the mana. So, do that. Run out devoted. And then run out. You mean on turn one? Why well, we would play the noble first and not the bird? Like, we were going to be cast, and it looks like they're going to thought on us. Um, yeah, like, so there's a chance they could, like, uh, if we wanted to swing. Like, we weren't going to swing no matter what. Um, but if they were going to kill our noble, I'd rather them kill our noble than kill our bird. Because we're technically a four-color deck, and the noble gives us access to three of the colors, but not the black. Um, so, the bird, where the bird does give us access to it, so... That's the one reason I do have for it. I'm gonna run out this ooze. And we're just gonna pass it over here. Like, it, it wasn't that relevant because we ha uh, we were gonna just be dropping double dorks there. But there is that, uh, that option, you know. Um, we will take the hit here, I think. We could block with our bird, throw it in there, and then uh, eat it, uh, eat the devoted, and then eat it, and that way we'd have a 4-4. That actually doesn't seem bad. We have all the mana we need to, so yeah, why don't we do that? So I'll block with the bird, green, eat our devoted. They want to thought not us again? That's fine. We got freaking lands. Either hub. What? All right, we're gonna eat our bird. We'll crack this. So we got a breeding pool. So we got blue covered, and we got uh, black and white covered. So we're pretty set here, which is really nice. Um, we got double green, and then we might have the outside chance of needing uh, a second black source, though, because of Ravenous, Chupacabra, and Murderous Redcap, so we'll grab the Overgrown Tomb. Alright, so Breeding Pool. We'll run that out. I want to pay the life for it. And we'll run out of things. And we'll swing for five. Yeah, have nothing. That way they can't take it. Best tech ever. Obligator. Oh boy. Seems like we're going to take a pretty hefty hit here. If they want to swing with everything, we'll have to block our noble onto that thought knot. We'll just eat their dismember. Got ourselves another ooze. We'll run that out. And we'll just ship it here. If I got another obligator, that's really bad.
Maybe we should be playing Aether Hub in all of our Eldrazi decks, so we can cast all the different Eldrazi options with no problem. Now, if they don't deal with our big ooze right now, they're going to be in a pretty bad spot because they're not going to be able to swing anymore, um, which is pretty sweet for us. And, like, I think the worst thing that could happen right now is, like, what, they smash us? I don't know. Another obligator would be pretty bad, but we don't even die from it. There's another obligator. Why'd I have to say something? Alright, so we're not gonna pump that. Okay, we'll have to double block the thought knots. And eat the noble, um, and that way we'll only take exactly ten, but we'll be at eleven. If they don't swing with everything, that's really good for us. Okay, that's sweet. So if that's the case, I'd rather double block these uh, obligators and get them off the board. Vanifar is pretty good, but I don't think we can play it. So we'll have to ship here and wait one turn. Yeah, the double blocking the Thought Knot was an option. I didn't like that as much because it, I felt that it put us in a really bad spot on the following turn because they would have two extra creatures. Oh, we can't have them get a... Uh... Okay. Well, if they get a obligator again, we're pretty dead. <laughs> um, but if not, and we get to untap. Oh, yeah. That is fair. Definitely fair. But yeah, that would have been a. That would not have been bad. We would have got another draw, too, so that would have been good. Okay, if they just have lands, that's good for us. Alright, well, Canopy is a redraw. Voice is pretty good. Alrighty, 
Alrighty, so at the three slot here, we can grab a Eternal Witness, a Fanks, a Spike Feeder. Um, which all seem pretty. Spike Feeder doesn't seem bad, gaining that extra life. Fanks seem like the best to just get more blockers on the board. I think we're going to sack that. Get ourselves a nice voice token going on. Um, you can see the list here if you're interested. Um, in our fourth slot, though, we have some pretty great value um, with Red Cap, um, Chupacabra, Resto, Shalai. I might have wanted to sack the. Uh, the Finks might have been the best play, I guess. Because I could have used the Finks, got a Chupacabra, took out a Thought Knot, drawn an extra card. I feel like the paths are all pretty solid to bring in here. I don't even hate Thrun, they can't take it from us. Tracker seems great to get that infinite value. As good as Ooze was there, I think I'm gonna take those out here. I think I'm good with cutting a red cap as well. The upside to image is that I can copy a lot of great persist creatures and get uh, more value out of them. And if I copy something pretty sweet, they're not going to be able to take it. But it is definitely one of our weaker creatures. I like being able to copy their thought not to though, and that seems pretty solid. I think I'm okay with taking out the spike feeder and archangel combo and bringing in two paths and then cutting one cord for another path. Oh. I just missed your message, Reese. You would have cut the one of the Vanifars for the ooze. I could see that. I, got, I really want to just power into that, though, because that's going to be really strong. This is a pretty solid hand. We're not doing too much early on, but we're going to be able to go Finks into Resto Finks, and I think that's going to be pretty sweet. That's a fair point that I don't really want multiples of the card. It sure isn't Birthing Pod where I did want multiples of it. Crack this now. And yeah, let's get a hollowed fountain. I'm just going to name Vanifar. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's just run on Overgrown. No damage. We'll pass it back. Are they going to smash us? Don't smash us. They're smashing us. 
They're smashing us so hard. That's 10 damage, folks. Okay. We're gonna run out the Sphinx. We need them to not do that again. Oh, they're gonna obligate us. Oh, no, they got Thought Knots. Okay. Thought Knot means we, they're gonna take that Chupacabra. And we're gonna have to block the Mimic with our Finks. Take five, gain two. Hmm, this is rough. You think they take the rest though? Because if they, I think they take two because we can go verdant, grab um, a swamp, grab Chupacabra, kill their smasher. But I mean, obviously they're thinking about it, so yeah. Oh, there's Vanifar. Not that relevant right now. I think we're gonna have to go land pass. Let's go resto. They don't have a removal here we could double up on the thought not draw an extra card or we can just kill the mimic and block the thought not gain the life mimic dies thought not sticks around the next turn we can go land and windswept and do it that i think i like that the most we're we don't get to kill off a thought not Uh, because we had, I, I thought that we would. So if we if we went that route, uh, we wouldn't get to kill their creatures, and we take more damage. I felt like our best bet here is killing the creatures. If we get a persist trigger, it's not a big deal to us because we're gonna gain the life. Gavany Township's gonna let us put counters back on our um, on our Finks and on our Resto. So over time, we're gonna be able to gain life out of this, which I think is gonna be a really big deal for us. Okay. So here, I think I almost like the best line of just dropping Finks in Noble, playing a lane and passing it. And then next turn, we'll be able to start putting multiple counters on the Finks. It's either that, or we just play land pass. We'll be able to add a counter on Finks. Hmm. We go down to four. No. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be able to do the line. I think we have to do the Um This line here, because we need to gain a little bit more life because that trample damage is gonna get us. Ah, oh, that's sweet, they're passing for us. All right, we got black, green, white, blue, and white. We don't need the double black anymore because Chupacabra is gone. Um, so I think we just want to grab a green source here. So let's grab a green and a blue source just in case.
Yeah, this is pretty good for us. We're going to be able to start to add encounters on our Finx. Um, I think this turn we still want to hold off on playing the Prime Speaker. Potential. So Prime Speaker's gone. Oh, these have another land? That's great for us. Counter up everything. to start swinging here pretty soon in order to get ahead and take over the game. Do we want to run out the Revelark? I think we do. For f no, we don't want to swing in the air. If they obligate us, they could take our flyer, and then we would die. I'm going to be bringing us to a potential one right now, because they are going to shoot us and then shoot us again. the obligator and as long as they know to take one of our flyers that's game oh no not game um we're gonna have to block and it's gonna be a little awkward can we block up everything on the ground i don't know do we die exactly here i think we do we die exactly because we can block up all of this. Yeah, no, it didn't matter. We were just dead. The obligator was just death. Ah. Tragic. All right, so we'll go with your recommendation and bring in the, I don't really like the ooze, but I guess it takes over the game, like you said. Um. I kind of want to bring in the, the red cap again as well, but take out the cord. I think we'll play it like that. This is a little risky because we only got one land here, but this is pretty sweet. I think we'll keep this hand. Serum powder, they get uh, they got a scourge. So they're mulling to eight. Seems good for them. They're down to five cards.
All right, all the mana dorks. this Vanifar. Green, white. And we'll grab overgrown. No life. Okay, so I want to uh, get rid of our bird here. And I think we're going to get a phantasmal image. Copy their thought knot. And we're going to see what they got going on. Mimic, Smasher, and Serum. We'll take the Smasher. Thank you very much. We're out of Vizier. We're out of Bird. And a News. And we'll pass it. they didn't go powder into mimic but oh i know that's cost three mana never mind okay so what can we do at we can sack the thought knot to go get our um our revel arc if we wanted um doesn't seem that great we can uh get the infinite mana going um by going in to get a devoted druid. We can also, um, I'd like to go up to the chain to four here, I think is the, the thing where I really wanna be. So I think getting a kitchen, thanks. Yeah, you, you are correct. This ooze is gonna be good. Um, if we ditch the Vizier, we can go get an E-Wit and put it back into play. Or we can ditch the Vizier and go get a um, Finx. I don't really like either of that. We could go get Voice and, um, with one of the birds. That seems really strong. And then that way they will never be able to swing. Yeah. The thought not possibly we both get a draw. I think that seems fine. We have to give up two creatures if they want to do that. Or the I guess the scourge and the thought not would be fine too. 
Kind of like just chump blocking here and then throwing the voice in front of the well we can throw voice and Vasir in front of the thought knot so we get a draw and then just chump block the other two that doesn't seem bad If we want to throw the Vizier in front of it, we'll get a draw as well. No, I, I don't want to do that. No, I... Hmm. I think I do. I'd rather take the draw here and get more creatures off the board. So sweet. We'll eat their thought knot. Got another voice. I think we'll sack this voice, get the token. Go get ourselves a three drop. Thanks just seems really good here. Gain the life. And we'll swing with the elemental token. Just sacking the Finx here. We'll gain the life. Go get a Chupacabra. Chupacabra will take out that Thought Knot. We'll draw a card. And then we're going to swing in with two 8-8s eight eight and a 6-6. Six six. Oh, we should have swung with the Thought Knot too. We were just in a really bad spot. Hoots. Outvalued a colorless Eldrazi. That's what's good. What's good? This deck is pretty sweet. I guess fair decks. I think we just crush them.
this has only one land and not much going on as a result of it, so we gotta ship this. Uh, not great, but if we're going against Burn, this is what we want, right? <laughs> uh, I guess any normal modern deck we lose. <laughs> Uh, we're keeping it though. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Joey Wheeler again, right? Didn't we win against? We just went against him a bit ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going against the same opponent. So this is Colorless Eldrazi again. Uh, we will keep the Eldritch Evolution. Well, they got a thought not. Nope, no thought not. That's good. Let's grab a forest. Run out of things. Not interested in blocking. We can take the damage here because I can swing at them and then evolution. No, don't thought not. No. <laughs> there goes evolution. Oh, that's so sad. Now, if we top deck another evolution, though, whew, that'd be great. Come on. No, we get a red cap. Okay. All right. Well, let's swing, see if they want to take it. Come on, opponent. Just block. Yeah! No block. No block. Run this out there and drop another Finx. We're okay, we'll take it. <coughs> this hit. Scourge. And a mimic. Okay. So we want to make sure we can cast this red cap on our turn. take out that Mimic before it gets out of control, and we'll pass it. Well, that's interesting, they're in the big swing. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is we'll go Finx on the Mutal Vault, Finx on the Thought Knot, Murderous on the Reshaper here. We'll take out the Thought Knot with Murderous. Draw a card, gain some life, gain some life, they get a ghost corner, which is fine. Grab a blue source. And we'll 
pass it. Ooh, Archangel. Okay, let's see if this works. Sack our thanks. Always yield. Always yield. Always yield. Always yield. Bottom. Yeah! Infinite life! Infinite pumps! Pony concedes! <laughs> uh, Alright, we wanted to bring in the paths. The tracker. Uh, we cut both cords last time. That was fun. Alright, we cut one... Prime speaker last time too. And we cut one ooze. I think we cut the Archangel Spike Feeder combo there last time, but I I love the way that played off. <laughs> um So why don't we cut just one I really want the Finx. Hmm. Well we cut one devoted druid. We'll try it like this. Alrighty. We've got an infant combo in hand. Temple Garden, we'll take some damage here, we're not the bird. I feel like we're about to get thought not. Our opponent's a really good old drowsy player. Thanks is not bad. I think we'll just run that out there. I'm willing to block that. speaker oh they're gonna name devoted druid how rude
We will grab Godless Shrine. July seems pretty good for us. Run that out there. Goodbye, shall I? Smasher. Smasher. So this is not good for us. Hmm. I don't want to give up the Finks because we'll be able to block with it and activate next turn. That is a whole lot of damage we've been taking though. Not bad. We can smash her and Finks. I think that's our best bet. Any kind of targeted spell. is figuring it out. EE -E for two. Oh, yeah. EE -E for two. Makes us lose our devoted druid. But they don't, you can't activate their Muta Vault either. Okay, so we'll trade out Smashers, and we have to block this out, and then they're left with a Thought Lock, and we're left with a Finx. Okay. I 
think we just cast Revel Arc and pass it over. the spike feeder and we can throw a counter onto the Finx blocking a creature because if we get revel arc we're gonna have to block the thought knot with our revel arc and then put the Finx on the mutal vault yeah I like this I like the spike feeder play more right now We do have a fun little lock right going on right now with just what we have in play. That doesn't seem bad at all just to stick on it. It's either that or we run out the voice. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good with just passing here. Holding up the McGavany Township. Quarter that's gonna hit our Gavany most likely. There goes that fun. We could add the counters and double block on the Thought Knot. That does not seem bad. Our finks. We will not be able to move the counters over. Block the thought knot, and then we can gain uh, four life.
good with... So if they get an Obligator, they beat us if we do this play, but it's whatever. I think if we did anything, pretty much an Obligator would beat us other than holding up Resto. Let's see on Powder. So this is good for us now. We can swing. Hold up the resto. Spike feeder. Image will copy. We could have it copy the Smasher and just trade up, but I think I like it copying the Revlark. And then we can move to blocks. I could put the Revlark in front of that. Put the rest in front of the Muta Vault. Put the Bike feeder in front of that as well, and then we'll use our Revlark. No, we'll we'll hold our Revlark back because what we're gonna have happen here is that cancel that. All right, and then we'll let that trade out. We'll take four damage, which is fine. We'll kill off their stuff. And then our Revelark will trigger off the Phantasmal image. And then that's going to bring back our Phantasmal image and our Spike Feeder again. That can copy our Resto. Resto will blink our Revelark. And then that way we can return our Devoted Druid as well. Pretty solid. Yeah. Cool. Let's see if we can end this League 4 1. Pretty good value. I'm like kind of sad Shalai is not like a 2 4, so we can bring it back with uh, Revel Arc. of this league. Pretty solid. We'll keep this. We got Noble into Fanks into Eldritch. Or Noble into Ooze if they're a graveyard deck. here to start. Fade 
Faithless, okay. So this is most likely Dredge then. Stinkweed and a Blood Gas, okay. Well, we we'll grab a Temple Garden. Run out of ooze, and we are gonna eat that stinkweed up. So we can run out like a Finx or an Eldritch Evolution or something like that, but I think our best bet is just to eat their looting and then eat their conflag. We'll swing for four. to keep up this race. swing we will block and then just okay there you can see it alrighty so we want to bring in the oozes for sure we can bring in the paths too if we would like Phoenix isn't terrible and then neither is the rhino I don't think we necessarily need a Prime Speaker. I'm fine with trimming one. The Spike Feeder combo seems pretty good against them, to be honest. I'm fine with trimming the cords as well. I don't think we do need to bring in the more Siege Rhinos or um, the Finks. I like bringing in the Path, but it's not the greatest thing in the world to me. Yeah. I think I might just keep in the cord because I just want to be able to fetch up the uh, the oozes as fast as possible. So let's cut one devoted ring in the other cord as well and then we'll run like this. Ooh, we got another ooze on turn two. How lucky are we? Can chill them out. Okay, we'll take that. Another bird. We'll pass it over. They whiff it on dredgers again, because that would be pretty nuts. Two narco meebles. Wow. This is 
crazy. Street card, okay. There's a loan. Moves. I want to stop on their upkeep. See if they're going to street coin themselves. They do. Alright. So we're just going to eat that loan. Okay. Well, they're down to two cards in hand. They're about to draw regularly. Okay. We can go. I think our best bet's just running out Vanifar. Ooze is doing work all day. I think, yeah, I think we just want to run out Vanifar here. And then we can go fetch up another Ooze and, and have the recurability. So we'll grab a Breeding Pool. Run out Vanifar and pass it over. Chilled. They still don't have any treasures. Flashback looting. Oh no, they're gonna lightning axe our Vanifar. How rude of them. Alright, we could cord here for the um for the ooze, but we wouldn't be able to activate it. And because of that, I think we're better off just running out a, a Finx and a Noble, and we'll pass it over. Creeping shell, two amalgams. Okay, we can go one, two, three, four, five, and have two activations on the ooze. We can take Stinkweed and Stinkweed, and so they'd be left with just the Loam for the dredging. That seems good. Chill. This card's so good. Alright, Cathartic Reunion is pretty solid for them. There's a Can Flag as well. Getting their whole board. Okay. So 
So I think we're going to want to run out the Shalai because I'll force them to conflag our, um, our Shalai in order if they want to do anything else. Um, and we can make that impossible by getting rid of that conflagrate. And I think from there we're good to pass. Ooh, vengeful pharaoh. Okay. Loan back some lands, sure. I think now is good as time as any for us to hit the flag. So otherwise they can pitch their whole hand, kill Shalai. Um hmm. Is that one more can flag? No, no. They don't. So we can just no, it's right here. It's just hiding. So we can block the three amalgams and take five okay oh boy well let's start eating the amalgam Amalgam. Amalgam. Need the Pharaoh. And I think we're okay from there. The blood gas. It's fine. Sure. Gas. And that's game. Cool. That was pretty good. I like that. Our only loss was against uh, Scape Shift there. So that was a pretty sweet version of the deck. I honestly really like that a lot. So, so that's going to be it for me. For anyone that's joining me for the first time, of course, I'm Voodoo. I'm Dwee. Um, I stream every Sunday night and Wednesday night at 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I do load up all of my videos on Twitch here and on YouTube. Um, so I just do this for fun. I love doing it. It's a way for me to get more games in. So thanks, for everybody, for joining me. And uh, have a great night.